How is it going fellow gamers for today's video? We're gonna be taking a look into each and every single one of the newly added tameable elements here on project Ascension from brand new abilities to all new effects. Let's see what these elementals have to offer I want to start off the video today with a massive thank you to you guys for helping my season 8 review smash the 75 like goal. I am currently in the process of recording the world enchant video as you watch this right now. If this video can reach 115 likes in the first three days, that is 72 hours, I will gather four fellow content creators to record a five man nightmare, Iron Man, and Resolute challenge, then posting it here to YouTube for you boys to enjoy. Feel free to leave a comment suggesting which content creator you would like to see within the video. Thank you. I am going to start off the elemental taming portion of today's video with the lowest level elemental I was able to find and that was the dust devil located outside the Senato Hill within Westfall. This elemental is a wind elemental utilizing the moves wind shock which blasts the enemy with the power of the wind dealing nature damage and lingering nature damage over 6 seconds. Second we have lightning bolt which is pretty basic and then we have wind shear which instantly blasts a target with a gust of wind causing no damage but interrupting the spell cast and preventing spells from any school from being casted for 2 whole seconds so basically a silence so with that silence it looks like this elemental is going to be great to have with you when PvPing. so keep your eye out for this one if you enjoy PvPing optimally on to the next next we have a pretty similar elemental in the lightning elemental found here inside of Arathi Highlands right outside of refugee point in the middle of the map as for abilities this elemental is dealing with First, Wind Shock blasts an enemy with the power of the wind, dealing nature damage and lingering nature damage over 6 seconds, the same as the last one. The second one is Lightning Bolt, a very basic ability. And then lastly, we have Wind Shear yet again. So this is essentially the same exact elemental as the one we found first of all in Westfall. Different model, looks the same. And that goes for this Lightning Elemental here as well, found in the northwestern corner of the Scythalus Zone. Looks pretty fucking epic, huh? Next, following the wind slash lightning elementals, I have the moss elementals, one of which being that red one you saw me taming in the intro. These being everywhere on Azeroth, there were many to choose from. As for this elemental's abilities, we have Infected Wound, which does some damage and increases the physical damage taken on the target from the caster by 10% for 15 seconds. Followed by Tendon Rip, which reduces the enemy's movement speed by 20% for 5 seconds. Followed by Moss Covered Hands, which coats the Bog Beast with Moss, making attacks of a chance to cause enemies to drop their weapon for 3 seconds, lasting up to 10 seconds. With all of this information, we can easily conclude that Moss Elementals have a very, very good crowd control and are also good to be used by melee tunes for that 10 percent physical damage increase for 15 seconds able to be used every single nine seconds making it a perpetual 10 percent melee damage increase up next we have the stone elemental able to be found within the zones of burning steps in searing gorge this elemental is quite unique in its applications so allow for us to look at its abilities first we have thunderclap which inflicts some nature damage as well as decreasing the enemy's attack speed and movement speed by 20 percent for 10 seconds up second, we have Taunt. Your pet taunts the target to attack it for 3 seconds. And last, we have Oil Spill, which pretty much slows down the enemy's movement speed by 40% while being channeled for up to 5 seconds. So, what I have gathered from reading all of those abilities is that this elemental is going to be the very best pet for Iron Man, Nightmare, or even the both of them combined, since it has two abilities that slow down the enemy as well as one that taunts it. This is the only pet in the game that I'm aware of that isn't a beast, which comes with a specified taunt, so this one is extremely unique. Next. The fourth elemental that we have for today is quite a cliche one, it being the water elementals found in a multitude of places, such as the little island to the right of Stranglethorn Vale. The abilities on this little cum guzzler are first water bolt, an ability that is basically mimicking frost bolt. Second, we have Water Spout, which is an ability that deals damage as well as knocking back at nearby enemies. And finishing it all off, we have a Heal Over Time in Rejuvenating Waters. What a loadout. This elemental would be good for some PvP, taking into consideration its pushback plus Heal Over Time, though not the best for anything in particular, considering the Heal Over Time is quite lackluster overall. This, this, you know, this elemental is lame, honestly. Uh, whatever, fuck it. Next! I figured this is a good time to throw the green water elementals into the video that I found, though I found out the hard way they only react to Horde. So for those of you Horde out there who find themselves interested in some weird looking water elementals, 
Here they are. They're pretty cool. I wish I could have tamed one. Yep, that's it. Next is the Fire Elemental. Located within Stone Talon Mountains in the Charred Vale, she looks gorgeous with the models Ascension has for her, making her so that walking around with one of these as your pet has you looking like a certified badass. As for the Elemental's abilities, although, it's currently rocking with things such as first... Fire Blast, inflicting 102 to 111 fire damage to an enemy. Pretty basic ability, gotta be honest with you there. Second, we have Fire Wall. The Fire Elemental roots itself, turning itself into a wall of fire dealing damage every second for two seconds to anyone within a five yard radius of the wall. Let's see what this looks like. We, even we did click the button, it looks like nothing. I thought that looked cooler. It doesn't look cool at all, you just stand still. Awesome. Anyways, after that we have Blazing Speed, which is what he just did, didn't realize. Ignites in a blaze fire, increasing movement speed by 50% and dealing 52 to 61 fire damage every 2 seconds to nearby enemies for 6 seconds. Pretty awesome, that last one's pretty sick, that second one's pretty lame, and that first one's uh, a boring old ability. So this one's looking good as fuck, but its abilities are pretty normal, I've gotta say. Nothing out of the ordinary. After taking a closer look at this elemental, this pet would be good for anyone looking to flag, carry, or base capture in BGs. With Blazing Speed's 50% movement increase, plus its AoE damage, not even including the extra AoE damage from the boring looking firewall. This pet is great for flag carrying. I rate this elemental quite highly. Next is going to be an elemental found within the very same valley. The stone elemental, large in size and lacking in color, is one of the most iconic elementals within the game. What has Ascension given this elemental for abilities? Well, that we are going to have to find out. First, we have Stomp, which deals fire damage and knocks back enemies within an 8 yard radius, launching them into the air. Followed by that, we have Molten Blast, which is a basic damaging ability. Then, we have Magma Splash, which melts the armor of the target, reducing its armor by 4% and dealing periodic fire damage every 3 seconds for 5 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. This elemental is good for anyone seeking out an all-around good elemental, as this elemental can increase the damage for both cast and melee by reducing the target's armor by 4% with Magma Splash, as well as Stomp which can be used to cancel a spell cast of any enemy. This would be good for both PvE and PvP within certain circumstances, which is what makes it an all-around good elemental. This, so far, has got to be my favorite elemental of the bunch, without a doubt. Next. To finish off the video, I have the coolest of the bunch, another elemental found within the Charred Valley, this one being a Lil Tree Bitch, something cute to walk around with as a slave to your every whim. Even better, this elemental has the best animation in the game out of every single pet. You just saw it, that motherfucking boulder, bro. What the fuck is that? How come they didn't make an animation that cool for every single elemental in the game? This is absurd. Though, now that you are aware of that crazy ass boulder animation, the abilities that we have for this bad boy are first. Basically what you just saw, boulder, the basic damaging ability for this elemental. Second, we have shattering slam you smash the ground dealing 74 to 83 physical damage to all enemies within 8 yards. And lastly we have Rock Biter Strike which imbues your weapon dealing damage and increasing the weapon damage of your next attack. So with all of that in mind the lineup of abilities is not quite as unique as its appearance with Rock Biter Strike being the standout ability of the bunch. I rate this elemental's potential low on the charts, though it would be pretty sick to have one of these just chillin' with ya. So, I completely lied about the tree bitch being the last one, as Project Ascension added a purchasable fell elemental that would usually be unobtainable up until Burning Crusade released on Season 8, which it has not. We are currently in vanilla, unfortunately. I did not have the money to purchase one, but I knew fellow people who did and were able to get me the abilities. We're gonna start off with Entropic Shield. Surrounds itself with a shield of flame that inflicts fire damage up to 10 nearby enemies every 3 seconds, lasting 18 seconds. Pretty epic ability. Second, we have Entropic Streak. The Entropic Elemental charges a target and inflicts 2 to 11 fire damage, rooting itself and triggering an Entropic Inferno in the area for 6 seconds, so it summons its own pet. Wow. Nice. <laughs> then we got Entropic Shock, inflicts 2 to 11 damage and stuns the target for 2 seconds, so we also got a stun. Pretty typical for these Elementals having some kind of CC. 
Um, pretty epic ability. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I wouldn't purchase this elemental personally, but it is pretty cool to look at. So perhaps I'm lying to you about that. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Other than those elementals that you can find in Dire Mall that are blue versions of these. But word on the street is, is that they're the same exact abilities as these Void Walkers. There's really no difference at all. Same thing with the fire. Not too much difference between the three of those. So I gotta rate all three of those in the same category. Per they're mid. They're mid. I've gotta say. That's about it. Outro time, baby. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here within the walls of the greatest cheese shop in all of Stormwind, Trio's Cheese. I hope that everybody watching enjoyed the video, learned something new, or had a laugh. If any of those are true, a like, comment, and subscribe are all greatly appreciated. The support recently has been immense, and I hope you guys keep enjoying the content. We're at the push for 1,000 subscribers. I love you boys, and I will see you later. Peace out.